Hello and welcome to Slightly Nostalgic. My name is Griff and we have watched Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1, Episode 1, The Boy in the Iceberg. Alright, so this show, I watched a few episodes of it when it aired. This started in 2005. So I was just out of high school. I guess I was in college the whole time this was airing. And uh, so obviously older than the target audience. I was actually thinking this was a little bit further back, but uh, okay. Uh, so I was, I was an adult by the time this came out. But, uh, and it's definitely aimed at kids. But this is one of those really exceptional kids shows that is like any adult could sit down and watch this and enjoy it like it's very smart for a kids show especially later on i think right as it was wrapping up or like right after it had ended i actually watched the whole thing through and really loved it and that was several years ago now so i'm interested to see if i still like it as much and uh it'll be really fun to go back and watch these first few episodes especially these older episodes knowing where it all goes and what all happens so here we go first of all i've always thought it's a weird name for the show i mean having it be avatar com colon the last airbender makes it sound like there's a guy named avatar and the whole purpose of the show the whole crux of it is that he's the last airbender like the last mohican or something like he's it's all about this guy bringing the last jedi you know he's, he's bringing back airbending Good old Avatar, like no, it's it's a guy named Aang and he is the Avatar and he just happens to be the last airbender, but that's not really, that's not his main thing really, like he's the Avatar. So just a quick summary of the premise here of what's going on. For those of you who maybe haven't watched the show, uh, it would be great if you wanted to watch along with me, but if you don't even know what this is, it is kind of a, it's not an anime, but it's in an anime style. It's an American made cartoon. It was aired on Nickelodeon. But basically there are four groups of people and they're all broken down by the basic four elements, air, water, fire, and earth. The idea of the avatar is there's this person who can control all of the elements. I, I forgot about that. There's bending, that's the, the magic, uh, supernatural part of all of this. People can control elements, but there's the avatar who can control all four of them. And when the avatar dies, a new one is reincarnated and he learns how to control all four of them. He's the ultimate bender and everything. He also has this connection to the spirit world that we find out about later. So where we start out here, basically the avatar has gone missing. There was supposed to be an avatar in the air nomads is what they're called. They live in these sky temples. They're like Tibetan monks. Um, and there just hasn't been one for a while. And like a hundred years, nobody's heard from him. And in that time, the Fire Nation has been led by some really bad people, and they've tried to take over everybody else. They're trying to take over the world here. So this episode is about Sokka and Katara, two of our main characters for the whole show. They are in the, I think they're twins, they're brother and sister. They're in the Southern Water Tribe, which is just this really small village of people and all the men have gone off to fight in the war and it's just a, basically just the women and children and this teenage boy Sokka and his sister Katara. So in this episode they find Aang, this 12 year old boy frozen in an iceberg and he's an airbender but nobody's heard from airbenders for a hundred years or something because they got wiped out by the Fire Nation or something like that. And he has no idea what's going on. I guess we don't know yet that he's the Avatar, but spoiler, you know he's the Avatar. And really, that's all that happens in this episode. It's really just a setup episode to introduce you to everything and introduce you to the characters and give you an idea of what's going on in this world and just kind of starting to get things in motion here. So as far as what I thought about this episode, the big thing that stood out to me at first was how young everybody both sounded and acted like I forgot I don't know if it, I mean I was a little bit younger but not that young when I watched this and I don't know if I just sort of forgot that they were kids I mean I knew they were young but this they really act like children here you know like Sokka and Katara are fighting and Aang wants to go play all the time and he's really goofy and 
It's also really cartoony. I don't remember this show being so slapstick is the word I'm looking for, where there's like goofy sound effects and uh, everybody's always falling down. It's like, wah, wah, and think like, I don't think they actually have that sound effect, but you get what I mean. But I'm pretty sure the show kind of grows up as it goes. I definitely remember it tackling some really heavy things and not being quite so goofy later on. So we'll give it a pass for now. Some other observations are that Sokka is annoying in this episode. I think he does a lot of growing up as well later in particular. He is just very contrary and he keeps calling his sister a freak because she can water bend, which like what? How are, why is he like he's just not interested in water bending at all and she's the only person he knows the only bender he knows before they meet Aang. He's she's she has this like magical ability to manipulate water. She can hover fish out of the water and she can explode icebergs and stuff when she gets mad. Like that's amazing. If my sister could do things like that, I'd be like, do it again, do it again. I'd want her to do it all the time because it's amazing. But he's just like, oh, you're a freak. It's weird. I don't want you need to stop doing that. Like, come on, what? Also, I forgot that Zuko starts out bald. Like he's most mostly bald and he has this ponytail but uh yeah it's interesting to see knowing what I won't spoil anything past uh, like just as a general rule I won't spoil anything past the episode I'm currently talking about but uh knowing what happens with Zuko's character it's really weird to see him the way he is in this first episode like that's all I'll say about that it's weird and that's pretty much all I've got here these episodes these videos will probably be a lot shorter because these episodes are a lot shorter than Firefly was, of course. And it's also a kid's show. The, the plots aren't quite as complex. There's not as much to talk about. So hopefully I can get more of these out a lot faster than I did with Firefly. So uh, stick around. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Okay, bye.